Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about standard conversion events versus custom conversion events. When are you going to want to use each one? What does it actually mean? And if you're a small business, what uh, kind of conversion should you actually be using? By the end of this video, you're going to understand conversion events and pixels and conversion pixels and you're going to be able to really get more out of your advertising. This is extremely important because the way that you optimize your campaigns can drastically change the way that your your leads come in and how much your leads are costing. So if you've not been enjoying a low cost per lead or if your leads are off cost, this is going to be a very important video for you. You should totally consider the way that you're you're optimizing your campaigns. Let's get into today's video. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. I create daily marketing videos here. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. And if you ever have any questions, please comment below. This can be a pretty complicated subject. So if you have any questions, let me know. So first of all, what is a conversion pixel? A conversion pixel is a piece of code that you place on your website. When somebody loads that website, it then tracks either an event or the person's browser that is on that page. So Facebook used to have specific conversion pixels that you'd place on each page. They went to a one pixel per account instead of creating multiple pixels and then having those pixels on, on every single page. Now they only have one single pixel that you place on every single page. So you have what's called the base pixel and then you have conversion pixels on top of that. And they've actually added on additional type of pixeling where they're going back to using URLs now inside of Ads Manager where you can say, hey, this conversion event is happening at this specific URL. Now, the way that I like to do is I like to actually place the base pixel on every one of our websites. So Facebook base pixel goes on the website pages, all of them. And then we have conversion event pixels that are based on conversion IDs that you're gonna be putting out. Now they have standard conversion events and they have custom conversion events. So which ones do you want to be using? It actually uh, depends a lot on your business. And here's what I mean. So Facebook has repeatedly said, and I've talked to a bunch of Facebook reps about this. Now Facebook reps aren't always the best because they're not running ads, but I've also talked to a bunch of other people about this um, that are also running ads for their agencies and stuff. And I do digital marketing as an agency. I spend a tremendous amount of money for clients with Facebook ads and Google ads and all, and all kinds of ads. But if you are running campaigns, they say that you need at least 50 conversions per week to begin to optimize that campaign for the conversion event that you're going for. So the way that it works is you tell Facebook, hey, I want this conversion action. This is the end goal that we have of the campaign. And it says, okay, it starts to collect data on all of the people that are getting there. It has tons of data on every single person who's using their app, who's using their Facebook page, what they like, what they engage with, and it starts to compile, you know, commonalities between those people. And then it's going to hopefully show the ads to people that are more like the people who already opted in. I hope that makes sense, but what basically you need is enough data to give that Facebook algorithm information on who they should be targeting your ads to. So they say 50 uh, conversions per week is enough data to, to make that happen. But the more conversions that you can push through on the pixel for that specific event that you're trying to optimize for, the better it's going to be. Now, if you're choosing a standard conversion event of maybe a purchase or a complete registration or a generate lead, or, you know, there's a bunch of conversion events and they've added a whole bunch more in there. There's generate uh, donation, um, add to cart, uh, request information, request appointment. There's a lot of really great in-depth conversion events that are standard now. And so they're compiling all of this data on every one of their users. And so for the most part, standard conversions, I think, are the best bang for your buck because they already have the behavior profiles for those standard events based on the users that they have. I've tested it for most of my clients where we've used custom conversion events. And basically we're just saying, hey, Facebook, everybody who jumps on this pixel, we want to basically optimize for this pixel firing. So then it's starting from scratch versus if you're using different conversion events like complete registration. Now, a lot of times you're gonna think, well, I would like to get leads, so I'm gonna use generate leads as the conversion event. 
but there's actually a pretty big difference in cost per conversion when we're optimizing for these different conversion events. And so, for example, when I do campaigns of generate lead versus complete registration, I find that almost every single time depends on the industry, but every single time the complete registration is a co lower cost per lead with good lead quality. So you're going to want to make sure and test what are the standard conversion events that are producing conversions at the lowest price for your business and for your specific situation. But you want to make sure that you're using these standard conversion events because you're going to get a lot better quality of traffic and typically a lot better cost per action than if you're using custom conversion events. Now that doesn't go to say that you shouldn't ever use custom conversion events, especially if you have a single ad account that you're driving a tremendous amount of ad spend through. You can, they call it seasoning the pixel where you're sending tons of conversions through that pixel. It really helps the algorithm to figure out who to show the ad to. And then, especially if you're only targeting for one offer and one audience group, you're able to really scale that. Uh, there's a guy named Justin Brook, who his company is called Ad Skills, and he talks about creating single ad accounts just for one pixel and you're just sending tremendous amount of user data on that pixel for that conversion event and you're able to really get amazing cost per leads doing that. And I think that's a great strategy, it's super interesting. I've never done that just because we typically have multiple objectives for each one of the ad campaigns. But if you're doing that kind of pre-work and if you're scaling and spending a tremendous amount of money, it might be a good idea. But for the average business and the average small business, using standard conversion events are going to be the way that you're going to want to go. You're going to want to use those things so that you can tell Facebook, here's the end objective that we're going for. And they're going to be able to show those ads to the people that are most likely to complete that action. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, you need help with anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. Comment below if you have any questions. And uh, don't forget, subscribe for daily videos here. I create daily marketing videos. If you ever need any help, let me know. Have a great day.